It's the Brian and Kendra Show. I am Kendra Cox, and I am a realtor with Coldwell Banker Advanced Real Estate Center. I'm Brian Cook. I'm the owner broker, managing broker of the Coldwell Banker here in Woodward. Between the two of us, we have over 30 years of experience. Sharing real estate tips and advice on Classic Hits 1073. Hey, it's good to have you back. This is Brian Cook with Coldwell Banker here in Woodward, and I'm with... With Kendra Cox with Coldwell Banker here in Woodward also. I am an associate broker, and you are the managing broker, and we have a fabulous guest today. Good evening. I'm Larry Hill. Larry Hill, tell us who you're with. Well, I'm with my own studio, Larry K. Hill Studios. I'm an artist downtown at 715 Main. I am super excited that you are here today um, because we've been talking a little bit in and out of of your um, business. I've been telling you that some of your some of your work reminds me of my grandma. And so I get super excited. Yes. Sometimes a little sentimental, but it's awesome. So I'm excited that you're here and we're going to talk about art in the home and why art in the home is important. Excellent. So thank you for coming. And you have a giveaway today. Tell us what you are going to give away to one lucky winner. I work with selenite crystal, a crystal that's native to our area. And I make window hangers, and I am making that available to the lucky winner tonight. And the window hangers are so pretty. I look at those every single time that I come in. I have my eye on one. Ooh, yeah, I just need yeah. to jump, don't I? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Maybe that could be a bonus for my boss. Maybe it would. I'm, Maybe. I'm sure you, he can be talked into it. Maybe. Maybe you could work on you that. have his number. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our giveaway, the key word for our giveaway is Larry's address um, at his Larry K. Hill Art Studios. Yes. And that is at 715 Main. So today, throughout the program, um, if you will text us 715 Main to 580-216-0090, um, later on toward the end of the show, we will pick a winner and we'll let you know who that is. And, and then we'll help you to make arrangements with Larry so that you can go and pick up your pick up your free art. Sweet. So, all right, Brian, do we have some announcements? Yeah, we got a couple of quick announcements uh, coming up on the 29th of January. We have the teddy bear toss down at the high school and we will I be love that. with WEA. They're raising funds and stuffed animals to give to the kids that go to the emergency room and the hospital. And so that's kind of a cool event. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the animal stuffing machine. The critter caravan. The critter caravan. So if you are interested in, in if you want to, Throw one, and then you want to take one home, or your kids want to take one home, or you just want to donate some money um, to the event, um, you can buy one, and um, we, they'll stuff it. We're not sure who's going to be doing all the work, but we'll, we'll be stuffing I, the animals. I think we you're going to be doing a lot of I the work. I know, that's what they, yeah. <laughs> yep, <clears throat> that's okay. But I'm we're going to have some it. fun helpers, because I think we're going to have some NHS yes. um, students who are going to help us as well, yep. and that's always fun. So that'd and, be great. And that's then, super cool activity. That's on a, uh, the 29th, and then next Week is the Taste of Woodward event, which basically all of lots of the food vendors in town will be there uh, at the convention center uh, showing off their foods um, <laughs> before the annual Chamber of Commerce uh, banquet. So it's uh, not super duper fancy. You can dress up if you want, but you don't have to be. It's kind of business casual. So it's a lot of fun. Um, get a hold of the Chamber of Commerce, get your tickets, um, and uh, we'll see you next week there. All right. Sounds like fun. Okay. So last week we had Mike with us with On Point Survey. That was lots of fun. We learned about surveys, elevation certificates, all kinds of smart things. Um, next week, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you now. I think I'm supposed to tell you at the end, but I'm so excited next yes. week because this is what we do. Sometimes yep. I get so excited about the people on our show, I forget what we really do. What we really do are help people buy and sell real estate. Yes. And so next week we are going to talk all about the purchase. That's right. Larry, right? The purchase process. I might have sold Larry a couple of houses. You might have. One or two. Yes. yes. You can't remember? So it's been a while. Poor Larry. If Larry yep. was my customer, I would know if I had sold yes. him a house or not. Yeah. Well, one of them is under <laughs> Walgreens. Oh, is that right? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. is. Larry's house is under Walgreens? Well, it was. It was there. He used to own the dirt. That's an interesting, interesting story. I didn't know this. Mm-hmm. Or maybe I did and I forgot. No, it's there. Yes. They yeah. pushed it all into the basement, so part of it is still there. Yeah. Very yeah. So. cool. There you have it. So Brian and I, um, like I said, Brian's managing broker. I am a broker associate with Coldwell Banker. And between the two of us, we have 30 years of experience, and we do. We love what we do. We love to to help people to buy and sell properties. In fact, so I get to go show two different people houses tonight. I know you do. I scheduled you at 615. And then I'm doing another at 7. Awesome. Super excited. So, I'm excited. excited about that first one. Yep. Okay. So um, anyway, back to what, what was I saying? Oh, let me give you my number. Yes. <laughs> if you want to talk about buying or selling a house, you can call Brian or I either one. Brian is 
334-2303 and I am 580-216-0090. And I slowed way down on my number so you'd remember it so that you could text us 715 Maine so that you could be put into the drawing for the giveaway. Awesome. Yes, way awesome. Okay, we need to already take a quick sponsor break. Yep, let's do it. CoverZone is a multi-generational company serving Northwest Oklahoma in commercial and residential needs. Plumbing, air conditioning, heaters, refrigeration, sewer and drain cleaning, backhoe trencing, and crane service. And they are your geothermal specialists. Contact them at 580-254-5864 or stop by 116 East Main Street. It's the five hours you spend in the kitchen mastering your famous recipe or spending quality time with your family. Other insurance companies may just see it as a house. It's not just a house, it's your home. Hi, I'm State Farm Agent Kevin Kanzler, and I see your home as the time and memories you put into them. I understand what your things really mean to you, and I'm here to help give them the protection they deserve. My office is located on the corner of 13th and Oklahoma and Woodward to call me at 580-256-2216 for your home insurance today. On Point Land Survey can take care of all your residential, commercial, and industrial survey needs. This family-owned and operated business proudly serves Northwest Oklahoma and Southwest Kansas. These lifelong Northwest Oklahoma residents with over 19 years of experience are ready to serve you with the latest equipment and capable trucks to get your job done. Call On Point Land Survey today at 580-256-6757 or at 1918 Main Street in Woodward, Oklahoma, or visit their website at onpointlandsurveyok.com. Professional. Trusted. Local. This is Todd McHugh and Jackie Jones with Woodward County Abstract, Dewey County Abstract, and Fairview Abstract. I would like to thank everyone in Woodward and Northwest Oklahoma for choosing us for their real estate title and closing needs this past year. We will be offering new services in 2020, including bilingual closings, internet closings, and digital abstracting. We look forward to making real estate closings faster, simpler, and more efficient for you in the future. We want to thank you for your continued support and business. So, um, Larry Hill's here today with us on the radio, and we, um, I've spent a lot of time with Larry. We're on the um, Main Street That's right. thing together, and so we chit-chat about driving business to Main Street and into Woodward in general. And so, um, I, I like to um, go down and give my opinion and tips and, and advice. And you're good <laughs> at it, yes. So. Oh, he is good at giving opinions, yes. isn't he, Larry? <laughs> and so... Um, and so we built this brand new office at 1003 Oklahoma Avenue, and um, I have all my art from that I actually bought from Larry at the old building that we moved, and it. Um, and so I've we we looked. At, I have it all stacked in one room, but it's I just don't know what to do. So um, I've already talked to Larry, so um, he he gave us some good advice about that. So tell us what you were thinking. Well, in your case, you've you've moved into a new place, and I advised you to live with your place for a while. Get to be familiar with it. And at that point, I will then turn around and ask you questions about what it is that you like about the place you you live and that you work, in your case, live pretty much. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) And then from that, I can create art. And that's what I do for just about anybody that comes into my studio. And I was listening to the two of you, and I thought it was pretty interesting. You were talking about how you sell real estate. But what you're really doing is helping people create homes. Thank you. You are yes. absolutely right. Yes. yes. And I'm the guy that helps with the next next step. You have talked to these people and asked a lot of questions, I'm sure, found the place that's mm-hmm. a reflection of them and how they want to live their life. Once they get into this house and it's about to come a home, they talk to somebody like me, a professional artist, and we create. And I like to say that art is what makes you happy. It's a strange thing. It can excite you. It can calm you down at the same time. Mm -hmm. But I create from what it is that the customer tells me. I help create a home with the art. Right. And, and lots of homes are lots of homes are art, and right. and so like at my house we have like pictures, so we have tons and tons of pictures just slapped on the walls, and, <laughs> and Karen stacks them in, whatever on the wall that funky that, that makes patterns and it's 
It's really cool. You mean I, she decorates with she them and makes them look it. nice? That's exactly Good how job, you should Karen. say it. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and so it looks great. It, it's it's I like it because I can look at my kids if, mm-hmm. if they're asleep or not. You know. And then, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but then, I I met another lady that um, it's like she would go to a store and she would just like fall in love with something and then stick it in her house and nothing made sense. So. Our house is pretty yes. uniform. It's pretty like it's a, it's, I don't even know what you say there, but it's uniform. It's all about the same. My office was very uniform, <laughs> all about the same pictures, the same color of frames. I bought all the same color of frames. This lady was like, it didn't matter. I like it. I'm going to own it. It's going in my that house. That made her happy. That then she's winning. Oh, yeah. She was absolutely ecstatic about it. And it was, it was, and you know, it didn't, it didn't even feel like she had a lot of stuff, but it didn't feel cluttery. Um, I think it might have drove my wife crazy, but it was um, it was very cool. She had some cool pieces too. So art is art is such an interesting subject because everybody's opinion is so everything rare. is different. Everybody has different tastes, and you can get thrown a wild card. Um, mm-hmm. We've all done it. Your kid comes home from school and they have a piece of art that they've created at school. Mm-hmm. What do you do? You put it on the refrigerator, and it's on display. It <laughs> makes you happy. That's the process of making that house a home. Right. Art is a reflection of that. It is life in action. It's a view into your past, and from that past, it's your future. I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the art that you create um, but first, I want to remind everyone that you have a give a giveaway um, with one of your one of your originals, one of your I forgot what you called Selenite. it, the window hangers. Window hangers, selenite yes. crystal. So text me at five eight zero two one six zero zero nine zero with Larry's address, which is seven fifteen Main, and then we will do a drawing and and hopefully we'll be able to tell somebody at the end of the program that they won. But okay, so my favorite thing that you do is the selenite. So I so I'm kind of telling you what I want you to tell me because <laughs> I think selenite is so cool. But tell us a little bit about the type of art that you do. Selenite crystal, it's a reflection of northwestern Oklahoma. It's a native crystal, natural, and it's in this area. It's what gives the gloss mountains its gloss, little teeny bits of this. I work with larger pieces, and you probably see it as you're driving down the highway. It's just covered up with mud. I take <laughs> it, refine it, create images on it, use it in a variety of different ways. But it is something that is northwestern Oklahoma. Uh, If you go to the eastern part of the state or across the nation, they might not know what this crystal is. So it's very unique. It's individual. No two pieces are the same. So whenever you buy a piece from me at 715 Main, it is a reflection of you. If that's what uh, you have picked, that's you. Mm -hmm. And it's also a reflection of northwestern Oklahoma. And I, I just I think that is so cool. And you and I had talked a little bit earlier this week. Um, my childhood was spent in southeast Oklahoma, and you said that you've you've moved here from southeast Oklahoma. That's correct, yes. And you're right. The art that I saw down there, my grandma painted and, and was an artist. And, and the type of art that I saw down there was different than, than what I see with your selenite up here. And I just think I, I just think it's so cool. I love the way that you brought northwest Oklahoma into your studio and put it in a way that I can take it home and, and put it in my home. Yes. And I really do have my eye on something in your shop. Well, good. I'm glad that you do. <laughs> and you mentioned your grandmother and the art that she did. Mm-hmm. And whenever you look at her art, you think about your grandmother. Mm-hmm. You think about the feelings that you have for her and the love that passed between both of you. That's part of what art does. Helps remind you of the people in our lives. Like I said, looking to the past helps determine our future. Absolutely. And we keep talking about art in the home and and so what you said just is exactly the thing. So my grandma painted a picture of my grandpa milking the cow. And so that's in my office. So right. and I've put it every time that I every time that I move to a new office it it goes with me and it's on a very where I come in it's the first thing I see. And and on purpose so that I come in and I smile and I'm like, "Hey grandpa," and I'm ready to get going. And so so it is. I mean, it is a sentiment and um, that's very important and helps me to um to be happy at work. I mean, Brian, don't get oh. me wrong. <laughs> I love what I do, yes. and I'm happy at work. But it it makes my workspace. I thought a very it was just the coffee, not the, the coffee. coffee helps. <laughs> the coffee helps a lot. I brought my own coffee pot to work today. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Coffee's good. But 
having grandma and grandma work with me. <laughs> that sounds so goofy. I don't have either one of them anymore. And so it is. It's a very big deal to me to be able to have them with me. Right. I visited y- y'all's new offices the other day. Mm-hmm. And I saw the painting that you're talking about. And I would encourage everybody to come by and see y'all. Spectacular building. It's Come beautiful. by and say hi it to is. these two. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you will be impressed with the facility that y'all have created. Thank you. Yeah, Brian did a great job. And I know Brian had a lot of help. Laura um, and Brian and Gary Whitcomb, all three yep. really put their heads together and made that a beautiful, beautiful building they did. Yep. Yes, something that will very much help this part of our, our life. Yes. All right, so one of the things that you have said that I absolutely loved, and I laughed at, and I'm not sure I believe you yet, but you said anybody can art. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not how you said it, by the way. Yeah. That's my paraphrase. But you said anyone can create art. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, think about a young child. Nobody's told them what they can't do yet. And they grab hold of whatever they're using, the paintbrush, a crayon, and they just go for it. It's only when we get older and we start telling ourselves what it is that we can't do that we hesitate. Oh, so many people tell me I can't even draw stick figures. But yes, you can. You learn just like you learned your ABCs. Same process. And you just let yourself go. And, Brian, you were reflecting on this. All art is different. Everybody could be drawing the same mm-hmm. um, flower, but everybody's going to create it differently. That's the individual person coming out in their art. Might not, might not even look like a flower. <laughs> that's, that's good. Uh-huh. Whatever. That's why you have to put the tag on it. This is a flower. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Your mama loves you anyway. So. <laughs> yeah. like, that's mom, why please. we say to children, tell me what you've done here yes. instead of asking, yes. is that a flower? <laughs> yes. And art is the thing that can help you express uh, life when words fail. I at one point in my life, my wife and I had foster kids and lucky them that they had somebody, they were living with a professional artist and I could set them down with high quality materials a lot of these kids didn't know how to express what they were feeling, but mm-hmm. the the art, they could speak through that. And we all do that on different levels. We use it, we just let ourselves go, and we create. It makes us happy. It makes us smile inside. And, by the way, as we get older, like you were talking about your grandmother, mm-hmm. don't you think that all of those things, that's the thing that everybody wants Whenever those people pass from us, they want the art that they have. Everybody has a car or they have whatever, but it's the art because that thing was the reflection of the person themselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially if it's grandpa from grandma, right? That's right. (laughs) All right. So I brought a couple of things because we wanted to really make sure that people understood how important this, how does this really relate to what we're doing um, and so, um, so I brought my rocks. I'm going to show this on YouTube. I'm sorry that you guys can't see this on the on the radio, but just hold it closer to the microphone. <laughs> okay, this is really close to the microphone. You guys, can you see it? <laughs> um, you had said this that that art can bring an emotion. Yes. And so, um, I've had an interesting season in my life recently. I'd like to say it's when I turned 25 a couple years ago, but that'd be a lie. So, <laughs> but so I've had this interesting, challenging season, and um, and as I was learning and growing and learning and growing. Um, a friend of mine in, in Wyoming, um, Wendy does some art, and, and so she, I love what she does, but it's not usually my style, so to speak. And so she had painted this one, and I saw it, and I went, oh, I have to have that. And I messaged her, and I said, um, when, when are you selling this, and how much is it? And she said, oh, I'm not. I'm not selling that. And I thought, well, yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> and so I asked her about it again, and, and sure enough, she did. But, it, but immediately, it made me think of a story. It's actually a Bible story um, about... Um, about whenever they, I just forgot my names because I'm all nervous tonight, um, when Joshua crossed the Jordan River. Um, and so after he crossed the Jordan River, so the Jordan River splits is what the Bible says. And so when he gets across it, then he puts these stones, he stacks these stones, and he says, this is an Ebenezer. It's a memorial. It's a reminder mm-hmm. of what yes. God has brought us through. And I thought it was super cool because I kept saying, I need an Ebenezer in my house. I need an Ebenezer. I just got into my new cute little tiny home, and I loved it, and I was so excited. And so I saw this and I was like, oh, my gosh, that's my Ebenezer. I had to wait like six or eight months for her to decide that I could have my Ebenezer. But by George, I got my Ebenezer. And it is. Every time that I see it, I smile. And I put it where I see it from my chair because it's super important to me that well, I can good. see that stone, this picture, um, to remind me 
of, of where I've been and where I'm going. And it's a really cool thing. And that is what art is. It does bring that emotion and it does remind us of things or um, I guess it's not always probably a good emotion. This is a good, pleasant emotion for me. So anyway, I just think that I love that you said that because that's exactly what that is. And that's why we do it. That That's why we have art in our home. Yes, that is exactly right. I teach classes down there at my studio and I help people decide how to create uh, I'll walk them through the process. Anything they get stumped on, I'm there to help. But all of that is right. to help express themselves. Mm -hmm. Good or bad, that's you at that point in your life. Right. I'm also a very fortunate man, and I can get way excited about talking about art. <laughs> I know what my passion is, for sure, hands down. I do it day in, day out. Mm -hmm. I create when nobody wants it. It simply makes me happy. That's what I do. And I love it when somebody else wants to learn about it at the same time. And I'm more than willing to help anybody that wants to learn. So do you have scheduled art classes or how do how would that work? If I wanted to learn if I wanted to learn to draw stick figures, what's my first step? Well, contact me, of course. I can do one on one classes and we schedule those whenever that you want. What works out for the individual schedule. Or like on Saturdays, I have projects going on. Uh, this particular Saturday, we will be creating ceramic mosaics. We're using um, tiles, just like the bathroom or the kitchen tiles. We bust them up, and you create whatever you want. Abstract, an image, and you just go for it. We grout it all in, and you get to walk away with a piece of art that's ready to hang on the wall. Is that class full? No, there's still some spots available. What's your phone number? It is 254 Four three six zero. All right. So somebody would call two five four four three six zero. Yes. And they would be able to register with you to come to your class That's on correct. Saturday. What yes. time is the class? It is from ten a.m. till noon. Very cool. Great. And we've been talking some um, about your business, and you're going to be adding some fun things, hopefully yes, in the I near am. future. So I'm not sure if we can. Just, you want to disclose those yet? But I'm I'm pretty. Well, I'm ready. I am Let's ready. Let's hear and it. I'm I don't pumped. know. We are bringing in pottery. <gasps> yes. I will have a potter in the studio. We will also give classes. Yes, just like the movie Ghost. You can sit there and think about Patrick Swayze and create a pot. We will fire it, and uh, then you can add the slip, the color to it, and fire it again and make it your individual. But I will also be doing framing for the artwork that you already have. I can frame it for you. Yes. And that will be set up just next week. Awesome. That's exciting. Yep. And we've talked about lots of options to add to your business, to add more value. And then, and we were talking about, um, cause when we go on vacation, it's all about the experience. Um, mm -hmm. and so I said, you know, when we was talking about, you know, what would I want to do? Like we went clear to Oregon and we went to a glass, glass blowing facility oh, in blue glass. Yes. It was so much fun. And, and there was, I remember going into, um, the greenware places and painting on the plates and, firing them and they mail them to you but but uh, we'll be doing green wire as well so there's going to be a lot of things to do with your kids so people complain about not having things to do in woodward but man you could you could you could schedule a time with larry and just take your family in and say we want to make something we want to create something schedule a time birthday parties um i do birthday parties as well we have a space available where everybody can set up the for the presents and you can bring in your cake and your ice cream but then I have some sort of a craft. I discuss it with you ahead of time as to what everybody's interested in. Everybody gets to create there. I take care of all the supplies and the mess mm -hmm. and all of that. That sounds so much fun. Like, I would have loved that whenever I was a kid. Mm -hmm. As an adult, I have some ideas well, as well. Well, come do it but... now. <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> yeah, it's very intimidating to me. Well, yeah. Okay, we have to take a super quick sponsor break. But we'll I want to make sure that I give a shout out to Bank7. Um, Connie and Melinda are a dream team with, with um, home loans. And um, that's Equal Housing Lender number NMLS, number 677297. And Bank 7 says that their best investment is you. So we're going to take a quick sponsor break, and then we will come right back. 
Homeowners and business owners, do you want to know how to extend the life of your home or commercial building? Call APC LLC in Woodward. APC specializes in installing high quality, five inch and six inch seamless guttering and custom commercial guttering. Whether it's a small system or a large system, APC can help. Call APC LLC at 580-571-2384. That number again is 580-571-2384 for all your seamless gutter needs. Our home is usually our largest investment and we insure it against damage. One unseen destructive force not covered by most insurance policies is termites, which can infest a house for years before being detected. Termites cost U.S. homeowners an estimated $5 billion annually in treatment and repairs. Using the Centricon Termite Bait System, JCP Services can protect your home from the threat of a termite infestation. Call 580-334-5380. Again, 580-334-5380. Stop in to Modern Appliance on Main Street today to see powerful Maytag brand kitchen appliances available in a finish inspired by cast iron. Cast iron black is a hardworking matte finish that is as tough as it is timeless, so you can trust it to help resist scratches while helping hide fingerprints and minor dents and stand up to the everyday. Add an iconic look to your home with cast iron black kitchen appliances from Maytag brand. See it at Modern Appliance, 2102 Main or online at modernappliancewoodward.com. For 150 years, Sherwin-Williams has been an industry leader in the development of technologically advanced paint and coatings. As the nation's largest specialty retailer of paint and painting supplies, Sherwin-Williams is dedicated to supporting both your do-it-yourselfers and painting professionals with exceptional products. Resources to make confident color selections and expert personalized service that's focused on your unique project needs. Sherwin-Williams is your neighborhood paint store. Stop by and see them, 2101 Oklahoma Avenue. Or call them, 580-256-5861. Hey, we're back. And I want to give you a quick update on the real estate market. Um, the Because it's so much better than it was. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> De December was just um, kind of depressing. It was very It was depressing. hard, and, and things weren't moving, and we had some buyers and sell sellers that were panicky. Um, we never, like, quit showing houses, but we just couldn't get anything together. But, man, it's like a whirlwind the last couple of weeks. We have... There's been like eight houses go off the market that we've sold, uh, mm -hmm. went under contract. So we're up to like 14, 15 pending where we were down to like six or seven. Right. Um, there's only 73 houses on the market. Uh, like this morning, I showed a house to a lady. She's been looking for quite a while. She just can't find what she wants. So if you have a house out right. there that you're thinking about selling, give us a call. We'll come by and look at it. If it fits somebody that we're talking to or we think you will sell, um, we're going to tell you. Um, if it thinks, um, if it needs a bunch of work or we need to give you some advice right. on, you know, what art to hang in your house. No, um, <laughs> no we'll have Larry do we'll that. We'll do that. But I'm just saying, we, we've got all the resources like Larry and other like Comfort Zone and APC and Sherwin Williams and all those people that um, help us um, in our um, business. So we can hook you up and get you the most money for your house in the shortest amount of time is our goal, of course. So, but to bring us back to this I yes, got you've got a quote that you're dying to read. I am. It says, uh, by doing what you love, you inspire and waken the hearts of others. So number one, that reminds me of us, and it reminds me of Larry. <laughs> well, thank cause, you. Because Larry, every time I talk to him, his deal is passion is art. Yes. It's art, art, art. And this other one says, I don't like to say I have given my life to art. I prefer to say art has given life to me. And I, I've known Larry for quite a while, much more... Um, passionate about life now than even probably when I met you 10, maybe 10 years ago. I would ago. agree. Yes. Yes. So I, 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 those caught my eye and I want to make sure I threw them out there. Larry, what's your favorite medium? And I don't mean like ghost. I mean like, what's your favorite medium in art? Oh, <laughs> did I use the right term? Uh, yes. yes. I enjoy watercolor most. Uh, years ago, I'd ride motorcycle. Uh, I started it because it dried quickly, could throw mm -hmm. it in the saddlebags and go. Uh, what I found out over time is because I was doing so many paintings in a journal, I could look back and it helped me remember the places that I'd been. So, yes, by far, that's my favorite. Very cool. We're getting the one minute warning. We are. So another thing, when we go on vacation, I always turn and drive down the weird roads in, in big cities because architecture is my, my thing. I love architecture. Yes. And so it makes you slow down. One of the quotes here was talking about Art makes you slow down life. So I, I'm always yes. on the run. But yes, you are. When I see the coolest buildings and the coolest houses, it does. It makes me stop and focus. Do you think Kevin Kanzler could insure my art? 
That's a good question. I think it's part of your content, so absolutely he could have to your ask art. So we'll have to call Kevin on that. All right, so real quick, um, text me, 715 Maine, in order to receive um, a gift from Larry Hill if you are the lucky winner, 580-216-0090. Um, Larry, go ahead, tell us your address one more time. 715 Maine. And your phone number? 254-4360. All right, thanks for listening. Your new favorite, Classic Hits 1073 KLSI Moreland Woodward. Tell a friend.